All right, AZ football recruiting fans, I know what you're thinking. You're sitting there right now going, there's only four of Arizona's top 20 high school football players left that are uncommitted. How do we get them to come here to schools in the state of Arizona? Is that even possible? So let's take a look at who those four players are and what their remaining options are. And let's start, of course, at the top with Priest Willis. We've talked about him on this blog before. Priest is really leaning towards going out of state right now. Even though he's considering ASU still, he's got some big-time offers that have rolled in. Nebraska, LSU, he's got trips coming up to both of those schools end of October for Nebraska. The week after that, he's going to go out to LSU and check out Tiger Stadium for a big matchup down there in Louisiana. And that's going to be tough for Priest to turn down. He's still considering taking a visit to USC and seeing Coach Lane Kiffin in the Coliseum. Three big-time schools. I still think there's a chance that ASU gets in on Priest Willis late. He's from Tempe, goes to Marcos Deniza High School, would fit really well in that 3-3-5 hybrid scheme that the Sun Devils are running. But ASU's going to have to come after him hard, and I think they need to get to him before Willis takes his trip to Nebraska. Now, what about the other top 10 recruit that's not committed yet? Cole Luke, another one. Looks like he's going out of state. Has offers from Notre Dame, Texas, and Oklahoma that are going to be tough to turn down. He already made that trip to Notre Dame. The season that they're having, how do you turn down Brian Kelly and his staff? He already made a visit to Oklahoma or to Texas as well. That was last week, and he's going to Oklahoma at the end of this month. Two Big 12 schools that are big-time football powers. They're in the national championship conversation. Every year, even after both teams had down years by their standards last year, they're both right back up there playing top 10 football at a high level. Cole Luke's another player. As nice as he would look, another great secondary player we have in the state of Arizona. I don't know about keeping him close. But two players I do think we have a chance to keep close are Devin Allen and Jordan Hamilton. And they're both stud wide receivers. Devin Allen at Brophy and Jordan Hamilton at uh, Scottsdale Chaparral. And both kids are Big-time playmakers. Hamilton's not a big player, though. 5'9", 150. I really think he would be perfect at Arizona State as that slot-wide receiver. But he would fit at U of A really well, too. The way that Rich Rod likes to run that offense, you remember it from West Virginia and Michigan, or if you've watched Oregon, they're very similar. Hamilton would make for that nice slot-back receiver type of player. But if he came to ASU, I think he would slide into the role that Jamal Miles currently has, and that would allow DJ Foster to stay more of a running back, which I think is what Todd Graham wants. Devin Allen's the key here, though. Devin Allen's a player that for a long time at Brophy we thought was going out of state. Looked like he was Stanford bound. He's a great student. Big, physical. He had a good athlete at wide receiver at six foot and a buck 85. I think Devin Allen could be the key to winning the recruiting battles here in the state of Arizona. Who has a better class? Is it ASU or U of A? Both teams are short on wide receivers. Devin Allen could come in and play right away. Could you imagine him next year, as good as his ASU offense is right now, with Taylor Kelly throwing him the football with another year of experience, with DJ Foster and Marion Grice with another year, with Chris Coyle taking away the middle of the field and letting Allen work free on the outside, get down the field for some deep passes. It would be a great boom to Todd Graham's recruiting staff. And the same thing for Rich Rod down at U of A. Devin Allen would come in and arguably be the most talented receiver on that roster right away. If one of those two teams can keep Devin Allen in state, I really think that's going to be the difference in who wins the recruiting battles here in the state of Arizona for the class of 2013. Devin Allen, to me, the key for ASU and U of A if they want to be known as an elite recruiting class here this season.